E E E E E E E E E E E What's up everyone, welcome to a brand new video, and in today's video, which has been a long-awaited video, uh, as you can see by the hundreds of millions of comments I've got asking me how to speed bridge, this is a speed bridge tutorial, I'm gonna go, uh, I think over five ways that I know how to speed bridge, uh, do an in-depth explanation, um, voiceover, and then I'll have, like, buttons on the side showing you what to press, um, and yeah, uh, so let's get right to it. Uh, I'm gonna first start off by saying... I'm on Switch, as you can see here. Uh, you can't, you can't have hacks on Switch. Um, just to show that I'm not using any illegal modifications and stuff. Um, I have no resource packs on. I have no behavior packs. Uh, this is 100% vanilla Minecraft. Uh, so yeah, let's get right to it. All right. So the first bridge uh, that you're gonna want to learn. This is the easiest bridge to do. Um, this is the bridge I started out with. Shut up. Uh, so to do this bridge you're gonna need at least a two block start um, so let's say you're at the edge of the island you're gonna walk back two blocks so that you're here you have two blocks in front of you uh, then you're gonna look straight down uh, jump up and place a block underneath you then you're just gonna hold the place button and just start walking and that's pretty much it just keep holding it you don't need to click just hold and then you can sprint and jump and do whatever you want you can even spin as long as you don't let go of that um, hold build button it will not stop so uh, here it is again but this time I'll use uh, visual controls And there you go. That's pretty much it. So that is the first and easiest speed bridge, but that is only one of five techniques that I currently know of. So the next speed bridge we'll be looking into is one that I use often. Um, it's it's extremely fast. Uh, it gets you to places that you need to be faster. It's super easy to start up compared to the others. And um, basically, uh, you're going to want to have at least two blocks in front of you again. Um, and all you're gonna do is act, so place a block in front of you and act like you're gonna jump on top of it like that. Like jump in midair and place it like that. Um, but while you, uh, but rather than just placing it and jumping on top of it, uh, you're just gonna wanna hold it and then continue running and jumping with it. And ta-da! Pretty much it. It's pretty simple, uh, when you get the hang of it. Um, so, but here's what the visual controls, just so you understand it a bit better since I'm not good at explaining. And there we go, that's bridge number two, and I think that's the easiest bridge to use. That's one of the most useful. Uh, I think it's the most useful because let's say you're being chased by someone, and that's the edge of the island. Rather than having to turn around and run away, you could just speed bridge away from that guy. Or speed bridge to him if you're chasing him. Uh, but yeah, I think that bridge is super useful and really well to know. And our third bridge. So here we go. This is a, a bridge that I, I only suggest in times of desperate need. Uh, otherwise, just use this bridge, that I, the second bridge that I just taught you. Uh, but this one is kind of a bit harder to do. Um... But I'll show you. Basically, uh, if you look uh, at a block, you can see that it's slightly highlighted with that little black box. It might be white for you. Uh, it kind of changes between what console or what, whatever you play on. Um, but what you want to do is, if you look straight out, and you you only you need to be on just the edge of the block. If you look straight out and you slowly go down, you'll see that the block beneath you eventually will turn black. It'll have that black box there. You see it, even though. We're not looking at it, but this is actually a thing in Bedrock you can place in front of you like that. Not Java Edition, keep that in mind, um, but you can just place it like that and you can even keep walking with it. Um, so basically how this bridge works is uh, you want to build it and then basically instantly look down and keep running and it'll start doing exactly like that. That was really cheese, but um, just hold it, look down. Oh, 
This is exactly why I don't suggest this bridge. It's a little hard to use and to get used to, uh, but just uh, place it, look down, and start sprinting away. So, just like that. I'll do it one more time. I'll look in front of you, hold it, look down, sprint. Just like that. And here we'll see it with the visual keys, just so it makes more sense. Alright, so there was the third one, um, and here's the fourth one uh, that I will be showing today. Uh, this one you need at least uh, just one block to start it. Uh, actually, I think you don't need any blocks, hold on. Oh, you don't even need any. Alright, so, well, there's a little sneak peek, but basically, uh, it's kind of hard to start up, but you want to basically do like the first bridge I saw, I showed you. Uh, place up, uh, or jump up, place a block beneath you, uh, but while you're like in the air, uh, you want to instantly press all of the same, all of the buttons at the same time, including uh, j uh, jump, place, run, and just keep like that. So jump, place, run on the block. Jump, place, run. Jump, place, run. And yeah, just like that. Um, I'll show you with visual keybinds now. This one is a lot trickier to explain. So uh, here's the keybinds. Alright, and here's the fifth and final, um, it's not very, it's kind of useful I guess, but the other ones are definitely a lot more useful. Um, so to start this bridge, what you're going to want to do is look back at the block as if you're going to start Java bridging, uh, like if this is Java bridging by the way, that's what we call it at Team Termite, but anyways, um, <laughs> basically you're going to look back at the block uh, and uncrouch, and then you're just going to hold and start walking. Uh, and this is, I'm just holding, I'm not clicking anything. As you can see, you can easily god bridge in Minecraft Bedrock. Um, so that's, that's fine, you can stop there. Or if you're advanced enough, um, you can do exactly that. But this actually does start the chain bridge, so you can turn around and then start doing the speed bridge. Um, so I'll just quickly show you here with visual uh, keybinds. And so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's the five bridging techniques. Uh, this has been a really long-awaited video. If this did help, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more epic content like gameplay and stuff. Uh, don't forget to share this. I know there's so many people that don't know how to speed bridge in Minecraft Bedrock, and it hurts my head. So please learn to speed bridge. It's gonna. It's so helpful. It's literally amazing. It's the best bridging you'll ever do. It's so fast. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!